What's up guys, welcome back to my channel, Clean Face, and let's get right into day two of my All Hallows Week. <laughs> I have no idea what the heck that was, but this week, let me tell you guys, it's been so stressful, but I'm excited and ready to show you guys my Dark Mystic Sorcerer. But don't forget to subscribe down below, hit the notification bell so you guys know when I upload next. I will be turning from this to this. We're going to start off by covering my hair and putting on a bald cap. Unfortunately, this is the thicker bald cap. It's not the latex one that stretches and is very thin. So I did have to go in with a little bit of this liquid latex to cover it up on my forehead and try to blend it in. I did add some toilet paper, tissue paper, whatever you have in hand to try to just give it a nice different texture and make it a little bit different. Now this look, guys, kind of just got created as I was recording. <laughs> Something that I just had in mind and I kind of just wanted to put together. It wasn't even completely in my head before I started doing this, so I had a lot of fun. Make sure you do cover up your ears, just kind of blend it in. I will be covering half of my head with a specific fabric that I picked out for this look. Now for this part, you're going to need some Vaseline or petroleum jelly and just put it all over your hands because you don't want this to get sticky. Now this is the makeup molding wax or putty, whatever you want to call it. I'm just using it to cover up my eyebrows because girl they are thick as ever so I'm just trying to blend them in and they're not supposed to be part of the look so we want to get rid of them so make sure your hands are full of Vaseline because that's what's going to prevent the putty to stick to your hands and really be able to spread it out and make it look a little cool so just make sure you get it as thin as possible around the edges so you're able to just blend it in and make it look as natural as possible I did put a little extra putty putting putty <laughs> putty on this eyebrow just to really really cover it up because you can tell the other one you can kind of still see it but I'm actually going to leave it like that because I like it I like it not to be so perfect so now we're going to move on to literally covering these bad boys up with a lot and lots of powder you want to make sure the stickiness is completely gone or else it's going to be really hard to put any kind of color on these eyebrows now I could get really really messy I literally just threw powder on my eyebrows to make sure I covered every little spot. I did put some pressure as I was doing this. Just make sure that that powder gets in there and really sets everything. Told you guys, it gets messy. Ah. Now I am moving on to painting my face. This is just professional face paint. I did mix the purple and a white together and got this vibrant purpley color which I was totally digging. Only thing I did not like, it was kind of hard to spread as you guys can tell. It was kind of hurting my face as I was doing it but I was determined to get the look that I wanted. So just make sure you cover literally your whole face. I really really love this color guys. It wasn't what I was expecting honestly. It's very bright and very vibrant. I was kind of just expecting just a normal purple color but it is what it is and I actually love purple. I don't know if you guys know that but my favorite color is purple and that's why I decided to create this look in a purple version. Now moving on to the next cheek. I did do the same thing just combined purple and white together and got this amazing color as I was telling you guys. So I realized that I wasn't going to be able to do this on my eyebrows. Because of all the pressure that I was actually putting on my skin, I wasn't going to be able to do that on my eyebrows because I would literally just take off the wax. Make sure you cover up your neck. Just like makeup, girls, we always bring it down to our neck. So because I wasn't able to cover up my eyebrows with that purple, I went in and changed the color and got some blue. This is water-based paint, so it goes on very easy, and the color is always very beautiful. Like I said, I was improv because this look was not completely determined as to how it was going to turn out. It was just something that I was kind of putting together at this moment. So changing my top half of my head to a different color wasn't anything crazy or anything that I was like very hesitant about. I kind of just did it, and honestly, I love the turnout. It came out so cool. Make sure you do cover up your ears. Again, I am pretty much going to cover up half of my head with the fabric that I chose for the specific look, as you guys can tell on my thumbnail. 
but just make sure you cover all of your ears make sure you dab in that paint and moving on to the highlight of my face you do want to bring on some white to make the bottom of your eyes kind of really really come out and be pronounced again this paint was really really hard to spread but I got it and I figured it out do it on the other side and as well as your nose you do want to get that nose to be nice and bright Moving on to the eyeshadow, I did use my Jaclyn Hill palette and use that glittery purple on there and I just went in on my eyes. Kind of just spread it all out, nothing very specific, there was no eyebrows, I just kind of went in where my bone was hitting and kind of just angled it out. I went as dark as I possibly could, sorry guys, I'm singing my lungs out at this moment. I also brought it down on my nose, kind of like a contouring thing. So I angled my nose, and I'm going to do that on the other side as well. And I'm also going to add some purple on my cheekbone. So basically I'm using the purple as my contouring. So anywhere where I would actually contour my face, I kind of added that purple shimmery color. How are you guys liking the look so far? Do you like it? Do you not? It's a little different. My own little Halloween creation. I thought it was pretty cool. So you just want to make sure everything is starting to blend in and kind of looking a little bit natural even though nothing here is natural. I did move on to putting that blue that I used on my forehead on the rest of my body. I didn't want to make it too dark, kind of just see through and my skin kind of stand out as well. I did want to make sure it was nice and blended where the purple and the blue met so I just blended the heck out of it. Here I brought in some dark purple and brownish color to bring out my collarbone. So right where your collarbones start is where you want to put these colors. There's the purple. I really defined it with that purple, kind of bringing it out, looking a little bit more skinny, scary, whatever it is. <laughs> you do want to make sure you get the inside of your collarbone as well to just make them really pop out. Also blend in your shoulders to give them that dark purple color. I did go in with that purple again and kind of gave myself a little butt chin. <laughs> I just thought it went with the look, kind of leans out my face even more. Alright guys, so my camera did die so I had to charge it, but as it was charging I kind of just put the horns on my head and just outlined them and that's what the circle is. I didn't glue them just yet, I just outlined them and darkened that in. I also darkened in a lot of my contouring as well as I did my cupid's bow and darkened it in a little bit. Now I'm adding some white acrylic paint to my forehead, kind of blending everything in. Just going tiny little strokes in different angles, nothing specific. Just wanted to give it a nice different look and I'm going to do this all over my forehead and a little bit over my eyes and going out towards kind of where the circle ends at the corner of each eye. We're actually pretty close with finishing this look up. I do want to tell you guys that I did add some eyelashes and I am going to make my lips darker and add on the horns and I'm going to show you guys the final look in a couple seconds. I did go in and also darken the corner of my nose just to make it stand out and look at more kind of alien-y. I'm going to put the horns on and here's my final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this look. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And of course, I'll be back with more videos.